Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy Brian with Menace World Detail. Thank y'all for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. So we have our canopy set up right here. We're gonna go ahead and set this up for some shade. We have a gold detail for this Acura MDX right behind us. So right now we're trying to move some stuff around and kind of get set up for the day here because we're gonna be here some time. So right now the plan is to move the van forward up until like that bucket, put up our canopy, and then move that forward and drive it under the canopy so that way we can be under some shade. So the sun is currently right about there. You guys can see, and we might be, we might be hit soon. So the shade that we have now is gonna be gone, so. so the canopy is set up van is moved we are in some shade now at least temporarily at least you know as long as you can be so since we are in the shade we're doing the polish we're gonna do the exterior first we're gonna start with the wheels clean up those rims lug nuts the tires look very dirty too so we need to scrub them down get all that dirt off of them make sure we get all that cleaned up there this as well right there, clean that up. Yeah, these door jams need some love. Pretty dirty. Let me show you the interior. All the corners. It's not too bad inside. I mean, the vacuum is the most for the inside. I think the vacuum is the most for the interior right here, but the seats should not be that bad. Neither should be the panels on the inside here. So we'll take our time, clean it up, shampoo, steam it, take care of it. Right, you guys so we're gonna start by doing the door jams i'm gonna go ahead and spray down the trunk jam first because a lot of times stuff falls in there especially if there's like leaves or stuff in the cracks and crevices of the back so especially if the trunk is you know dirty i recommend doing this first before you start vacuuming and stuff like that so i'm gonna spray the door jams down Even though we already cleaned the bottom and we hit it from like this side you know we cleaned it from there it's still dirty from this section here so we gotta also either wipe this or pressure wash it off and you see the mirrors right here underneath it's also dirty we could use a brush or in this case we're just gonna pressure wash it off super easy simple just make sure that you don't miss those areas and stuff like this as well those little corners so Gonna go ahead and spray it down.
tired of too. So quick little update. It's actually 12 on the dot right now. So we actually have been working on this car for about two hours now. And this is the progress that we've made so far. We have polished this side of the car. We've of course washed it, of course. Did the wheels, did the engine bay, did the headlights. And then I would sit over there, my cousin, he's almost done polishing that side of the vehicle. And then we'll pretty much be done with the exterior. Once we're done polishing, we're gonna go ahead and do all the windows. I'm gonna go ahead and continue detailing, but I am vacuuming right now at this moment. So I have this spare vacuum that the client thankfully had to let me borrow because ours actually caught on fire, man, and we can't use it right now. So using this one is pretty strong too. So I am very grateful that it's not like one of those house vacuums that don't do anything. So yeah, he's finishing this side of here. We'll pretty much be done tires already shined and then we got to just detail the inside and new windows so almost there should be done around maybe 1 1 30 at the latest but i don't think we should be pushing to 1 30 that much so let's go ahead and knock this out man so something i do you know usually recommend that you guys give it a shot is to if you can right Turn on your client's AC for an extended period of time, especially if you're out here in the super heat like we are today. It's about 100 degrees, super hot out. We need the AC. We're towards the end of the detail, so it's kind of helping us get through it. But if you don't have, you know, your client's keys and stuff like that, just make sure you, you know you ask them like, hey, do you mind if I run your AC for a little while? And just they should not have a problem with it because you're cleaning their vehicle. But just make sure that you kind of communicate so that way you're not, you know, wasting their gas and stuff like that so i'm back here vacuuming they joined the ac action because it's super hot and i just wanted to quick, you know give you guys that quick tip all right so we're all done with the acura mdx gold detail it's currently like one o'clock in the afternoon so we're all done with it i'm gonna go ahead and clock out for the day